the company presentation doesn't say those magic words okay remember the, remember the magic words spill over pag hindi nila minention yun well consider other things at least consider the other parts of the presentation before joining Cook and Money and Life Movement, JJ Ramos again. Welcome back to my channel, and it's time again for Advocacy Friday. Now, I'm currently looking over this uh, this old blog post of mine, which I posted in December 2018. It's called How to Automate Your Social Media, Three Easy Steps. Now, I created this post because... Uh, at that point, I've simply had enough of, of spamming, okay? There are a lot of Facebook groups up to now that, um, that call this, encourage its members to, to advertise their product, services, or business opportunities. But there are some users, all right? There are some users who spam their comments right like uh, they would call they would leave uh, they would leave their product service or business opportunity as a comment so they would leave that on another post that promotes another product service or business opportunity right that is spamming okay at that point I've simply had enough of it napuno na ako that's why it inspired it it inspired me to write this one i basically divulged to to the whole world how i automate my social media now 2018 was the year i decided to to start my own personal brand okay i simply have had enough of genericism I am simply fed up with the way um, network marketers conduct conduct their businesses. So I just came out and started my own personal brand. With that as my with that as my advocacy. Okay, if you're a generic network marketer, you wouldn't uh, you probably wouldn't watch this video. Why? Because well, spammers tend to be manual in their systems if at if they have if they have a system at all <laughs> if they have a system at all okay but bottom line they don't have one bottom line they don't have one so fast forward to 2020 these three easy steps have well have undergone um, changes over the past probably year and a half okay since that since the time it was since the time this was posted <clears throat> I now use these three easy steps to um, to automate my brand deals actually okay to automate either my brand deal obligations or to to post old content okay and of course to promote Advocacy Friday, this show. Now, basically, here are the steps. Step one, plan, right? You have to plan. Currently, I'm under, currently it's uh, social media planning week for me. So it's about day, um, day three. Okay, it's day three of my social media planning week right now. As I'm recording this one, so I'm recording this episode. <clears throat> you gotta have, you gotta have, you got, you have to allot at least one full week to to plan your social me to plan your social media campaigns. Okay. When I first uh, implemented this, uh, I was practically racking my brain for new content within those within within seven days. Okay. The problem, 
The problem was I was I was automating my social media, but um, I couldn't engage that often, and I didn't have any brand deals yet. Now I have, okay. So I have to I have to figure out whether automating my social media for for my real content would be would be feasible would be um to call this would still be right now that i have uh, these brand deals so what i did uh in around mid 2019 mid 2019 i switched from uh uh for, for social media planning okay the bulk of my social media planning is now um, based on the brand deals I have, okay, and posting old content. That's it. I would put out content on at a moment's notice these days, at a moment's notice, especially uh, especially now that I have the phone tab diaries. You haven't you haven't followed you haven't followed that uh, that show of mine well. It's in the card or it's in the description okay just check it out it's very important to to plan your social media it's a jungle out there okay and you think uh, and you think new york city is new york city or even manila philippines is a jungle wait till you get into social media okay so planning your social media is very uh, is very vital to to your business or brand because if you don't plan, well, you'll just be um, posting posting irrelevant content. You might even be spamming. You might even tend to spam. I'm sure you don't want to spam. Okay, that is totally unethical, unprofessional. And well, if you're a spammer and you're trying to build a brand, no one is going to take you seriously. Tagayon sa yan. Now, step two. Step two is schedule. I for, almost forgot that. Okay. Here's where, now I'm very sure you've heard of scheduling scheduling apps like Planoly, Later. Um, well, those, those, are the, uh, those are the two giants right now when it comes to social media scheduling. I actually used both of them when I, was, when I started implementing the system. But since uh, I've I've come across a guy named Gary Vaynerchuk, <laughs> I figured that um, posting my real co scheduling my real content would um, would I I feel would make me a hypocrite. Would make me a fucking hypocrite. So I restricted scheduling my content to brand deals, and of course promoting the old content especially those entries in the phone tab diaries that have well that didn't do so well analytics wise okay it was my chance to promote them through scheduling okay right now i only use later why because well on instagram you have to be well i i stopped using late uh, Planoly because it was exclusively for Instagram. Okay, and these days on Instagram 2020, you have to be authentic with your posts. You have to be really authentic. So you can post out of the blue, the, out of the blue there, but it had it should have value. It should place a uh, it should place value to to the viewers. Okay. Now for later, I don't uh, I. I Actually, I don't schedule Instagram posts anymore. I don't schedule the, I don't schedule posts on Instagram anymore. But I do schedule posts on Twitter and Pinterest. Right? Pinterest is a search engine, so it's not going to. It's actually not going to give a shit on when or what you're going to post. But if you're building a brand, okay, if you're building a brand. 
when to post should matter on Pinterest. And of course, on Twitter. Well, Twitter actually, you're allowed to tweet at least 25 times before uh, before you get that warning. You're allowed at least 25 times. But hey, why why push it to that maximum when you can when you can go uh, ten when you can go to ten tweets, ten quality tweets? So why push the envelope, right? But scheduling your social media posts is very crucial. Excuse me. I love that mineral water. <laughs> so, I repeat, you have to schedule your posts. Especially, well, if you're just starting out, you have to learn how to schedule your social media posts. Alright? <clears throat> scheduling matters based on my experience right now matters on Twitter and Pinterest okay Instagram well they they've already cracked down on those who are using scheduling scheduling apps okay even though they are authorized by Facebook to do so to to use Instagram's platform Instagram's the Instagram algorithm still still uh, are they're still kicking them out the the algorithm still kicking them out so I stopped scheduling on Instagram and instead scheduled my my tweets and my Pinterest posts right <clears throat> after all Pinterest is uh, is a search engine okay the three search engines that matter I repeat Google YouTube and Pinterest okay so you have to so you have to schedule you have to learn to schedule your social media posts if you don't if you don't you will experience burnout like i did right it's terrible <laughs> burnout is such a bitch okay it almost shut me down creatively and mentally all right because i didn't have any i didn't uh I haven't incorporated scheduling yet okay so the final step what's the final step is to engage okay now when I started using this uh, using these three steps my only mistake was not to engage uh, not to engage my followers before the post actually came up the post actually went up that was my mistake now uh, I would engage a little bit before the post actually the post actually was published especially on Pinterest and of course on Twitter okay but based on my experience again I've had a considerable amount of engagements after after the post went up when I engage when I engage followers or even especially in Twitter when I engage followers after my uh, after uh, after the tweet went up I found uh, I found them to be more responsive I found them to be more responsive now you can still schedule on Instagram you can still schedule on Instagram especially if you're just starting out okay but um, once you get those brand deals once you um, yeah once you get those brand deals you may uh, you may tend to be more authentic you, you, you get to be more authentic on Instagram because well the only thing you'll be scheduling on Instagram is your brand deal posts that's that 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 uh, that's what my uh, that's what would happen. Okay, baka yun na mangyari. So yeah. Overall, whether you whether you plan, whether you plan schedule or not, you have to engage your followers. Right, whether it be before or after your post goes up, 
you still have to engage okay this creates uh, well this creates value okay not well not just create not just create it builds your credibility it lets people know that you exist on that platform okay if you engage them if you engage uh, not just your followers but uh, all uh, all posts or tweets that have that have value to you when you engage those kinds of posts they'll appreciate you they will appreciate you and they'll probably take your brand seriously from now they'll probably take your brand seriously from now on right so those are the three steps plan schedule engage simply enough if there's anything I learned from the jungle known as social media is that you have to simplify things don't complicate yourself if you're just starting out you may want to yeah you may want to schedule your um, you may want to schedule your posts very often right of course to 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 add more value to the market to add more value to the marketplace for free to build your credibility and well to to attract potential brand deals so by sa nangyari sa akin by mid 2019 i was uh, scheduling post, brand deal posts na lang or uh, my old content just to get those uh, get those views just to get the engagements for those posts so in schedule ko na lang yun But you have to be authentic as possible. You have to be very authentic, especially on Instagram, right? With the cracking down of scheduling apps, I learned my lesson. Okay, I learned my lesson. You have to be more authentic. You have to be more authentic than that when it comes to Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter. Yeah, you can schedule. You can schedule as many posts as you want. As long as your as long as your account allows it okay I'm still using the free version so I'm only up to 50 pins uh, 20 I think yeah 50 pins and 50 tweets per month that's more than enough I can own I don't uh, I don't max it out I actually don't max it out because what I what I prioritize now in my post is well long term value. Will it value the reader long term? That's what I that's what I think before taking on before doing those three steps. That's our blog post discussion for this episode. On to the advice of the week. I just received this from the courier. Yeah, uh, from Little Warrior, ito. Yeah, I did this nothing. Yeah. I did this ko sa mismo unan ko. Bango? Ang bango? Okay siya. The concept of spillover is uh, like this. If you're, if a certain level of yours has been filled up, whoever you sponsor after that goes below that level. So it means Someone you direct sponsor goes under someone you direct sponsor, but <clears throat> but ideally, right? But ideally, the uh, the sponsorship should credit should be credited to you because you're the one who brought that person into the business. Commissions due, commission should be duty for sponsoring that person. Now. Uh, I don't know how uh, 
spillover actually works these days as uh, I've stuck to one company. <laughs> All right, I've stuck to one company. Since I've been sticking to one company since uh, since the early 2010s. All right, since the early 2010s. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that's the basic concept of spillover. Right? Company, never marketing companies. Should, well, for me should adhere to that now if you're being invited to a company I strongly suggest okay if you're not uh, let's assume that you're still not still not the network marketing right if you're being invited to a company go to that go to that seminar if you hear the word spillover you should consider it you should consider joining that company why? Because, well, network marketing is basically having a network, having a network where people, oh, or should I say, where levels go deep instead of go wide. Well, for me, that's not network marketing if the network goes wide, right? <clears throat> Networks going deep is the essence of network marketing. If you're not into network marketing, again, and someone is inviting you to join a company, attend their presentation seminar. Attend their presentation seminar, and if you hear the words spill over, you should strongly consider joining it because it will serve you very well. Network marketing, again, is networks going deep. Okay. It would be advantageous to you because, well, the deeper your network goes in level, the chances, uh, the chances you are of earning, of earning bigger commissions or what call this, rebates or whatever, whatever network marketing companies call you. Okay. Your earning power, your earning power, uh, the chance of increasing your earning power. Okay gets higher it goes higher palalim na ng palalim ang network mo your earning your earning capacity your earning capacity goes higher right but if the company do, if the uh, the company presentation doesn't say those magic words okay Remember the, remember the magic words, spill over. Pag hindi nila minention yun, well, consider other things. At least consider the other parts of the presentation before joining. That is my advice to all of you. Those who are not into network marketing yet, but to those who are into network marketing and know what spill over is all about, then you know what I'm talking about. All right. Now, spillover is commonplace in network marketing companies that that enforce a binary plan. This is where spillover is most powerful. Why? Because well, you only need two to fill up your first level. Then the rest. Bah, bah. So every every person that you sponsor goes under that goes under that goes under that until before you know it your network is really deep okay so that's my advice for this week okay I'll summarize it just for your benefit just for your benefit okay if a company is offering spillover you should strongly consider joining it all right strongly consider joining it so well I'm just joking so thank you everyone for going through the entire season one of Advocacy Friday I'll be uh, I'll be back well, Advocacy Friday will be back sometime in 
either August or September. I have to, I have to decide it quickly. Because, well, uh, quick, deci quick decisions make uh, make quick content. That's my, uh, that's my, that's my experience on it. So, thank you all for watching season one, and I'll see you in season two. Adjust my life, man. <laughs>